Marjorie Dannenfelser is the president of the Susan B. Anthony list. She has endorsed the former Pennsylvania senator, while Congressman Jason Chaffetz is a Romney surrogate. So welcome, uh, Marjorie, if, Thank I, you. if I may uh, call you that. Uh, Please do. So is this intentional on the part of Senator Santorum, or are those left-wing activists in the media kind of trapping him into saying things that seem to be emphasizing social issues? Well, I think that President Obama has uh, created a very big issue, and it's certainly a social issue if you want to call religious liberty and the foundations of the Constitution a social issue, which is really what this is about, about the contraceptive mandate and the abortifacient mandate. Um, is really a mandate about what our consciences and what religious institutions' consciences ought to look like. A small group of government officials saying what the right thing for religious institutions to do, otherwise they can't play the game. Now, that battle was fought in uh, colonial governments uh, early in America and in the founding and the, and the founding principles of our documents in the First Amendment said uh, it guaranteed us a religious liberty and liberty of conscience. And that's what this is about and that's what this fight is about. That's why it has become such a national issue that has crossed uh, gender and religion and all sorts of lines that have not been crossed before. Okay, Congressman uh, Chaffetz uh, is your candidate. Is Mitt Romney being forced to the right, forced to deal with social issues when he'd rather be talking about how in terms of the economy he would be steward for the nation? No, you got to be able to talk about both, and uh, Mitt Romney is strong on pro-life issues. He's strong on the gay marriage issue as uh, Republicans look at it. So, no, I think this is a strength. There isn't a whole lot of daylight. There's, some, there's not a whole lot of daylight between himself and Rick Santorum, but clearly uh, the, the, uh, the uh, election is going to be about jobs and the economy, and, and those are the things where there is a stark difference well, let's, between let's uh, assume, Mitt Romney and, and, and Rick Santorum. But let's assume, Congressman, that the economy mm -hmm. keeps improving. It notches, uh, you know, the, the unemployment goes down from 8.3 and it keeps going down. It's in the sevens or, you know, uh, God willing, in the sixes, uh, you know, uh, just so we can get this nation back to work. But let's assume the economy keeps improving. He can't outright Senator Santorum on life, on abortion because of his past. Isn't that a fact? I mean, doesn't Senator Santorum, by dint of the fact that you have groups like Marjorie's supporting him, doesn't he own that, that far right corner when it comes to personal social issues? Well, I think uh, Mitt Romney has a strong record, as he was, in the governor of, of Massachusetts. A lot of pro-life uh, groups in Massachusetts wholeheartedly support uh, the governor. But again, I don't see there's a huge amount of difference between the two on that issue. But when it comes to experience, when it comes to the economy, about managing the economy, about who is the best person to take on and beat Barack Obama, then I think there's a huge difference. And, and I hope the economy gets better, but I think all the Republican candidates are united in saying Barack Obama has been a disaster. We need to fire the president. That's why we got to put Mitt Romney up to run up against it because I think he's got the best case to make. Okay, before I give Marjorie equal time on that one, let me just say that Senator Santorum is also getting heat from the left over statements that seem to question the sincerity of the president's Christianity. It's not about you. It's not about your quality of life. It's not about your jobs. It's about some phony ideal, some phony theology. Oh, not a theology based on the Bible, a different theology. So Marjorie, is, uh, is he saying that the president's uh, faith is insincere? No, I, I, I know that he is not saying that. I think he's uh, knowing him and knowing what he believes in and knowing what I believe in. I think that he is referring to taking a, a tertiary issue and making it fundamental um, and, and mandating that on other people. I, I think the reality is, and certainly social issues are integrated into an overall vision that he has, and he is a rare person that has articulated that in an overall vision, and frankly came far from behind and has really resonated with people in state after state uh, with very little funding. I really do think it's an outgrowth of what we saw on the ground in the last two elections. People hungry for authenticity, people hungry for an overall vision that resonates and that uh, reflects what they're actually going through when they, in their own families. I think okay. that's who he is. Uh, let me, let me have, give the congressman last word there. So uh, do you buy into Senator Santorum's phony theology statement, congressman? 
No, I, I wouldn't articulate it like that. I think the senator needs to answer that uh, for himself. I think Governor Romney's been crystal clear that he's going to take the fight to Barack Obama. It's going to be about policies. It's going to be about the fact that he's uh, made this country worse, not better. It's about the fact that... How, how when, worried are you by Barack the polls? Well, I, you look at what's happened so far where they've actually voted in Mitt Romney. You can combine Newt Gingrich and Rick Santorum, take all their votes, all their delegates, and they still don't come in uh, close to, to uh What if he uh, loses Michigan? So, well, it's one race. Remember, remember uh, John McCain lost 20 races, uh, 20 states on his way to getting the nomination. You remember Barack Obama and, and Senator Clinton, uh, they, they duked it out until June. So there may be some ginormous <laughs> emphasis okay. on, on Michigan, but I, I don't think so. I think this is going to go. There'll be more clarity on Super Tuesday. Uh, this year, Marjorie Denon, Felter, Felser, and uh, Congressman Jason Chaffin.